is meant by Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10 when it says, The joy of the Lord is my strength. All of a sudden, that makes sense. We go to the well of salvation. We draw up the reality. Who am I in Christ? What do I have because of Christ? We drink that, and all of a sudden, we have strength in the joy of the Lord. But that means the flip side is also true. The reality of the lack of rejoicing in our lives is because we're not doing that. Because so often we do like the nation of of Judah in Jeremiah chapter 2. It says, For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken the fountain of living waters and hewed them out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. We're saying, I need some joy. I need some happiness. All right, this this is what I've created for myself. Let me try to drink something. Oh, it's it's a cistern. If it does hold water, it's nasty. But most of the time, he says it's broken. It doesn't even hold any water. So we just drop down our vessel and pull it back up, and there's nothing there. And then we walk around in our lives. We have zero joy. And we communicate to that, that to the world and how we treat everyone around us. Zero joy. So we're unkind. We're short. We're impatient, we're frustrated, we're angry, we're in your face. Should we just stop that? Well, we should just stop that. How do you stop that? Well, we've got to go back to the well. Put my vessel down. Pull out some of the reality. Who am I in Christ? What do I have in Christ? What has he done for me? What does my relationship with him mean to me? Drink of that water. And if that doesn't give you joy, nothing will. That is the source of joy. As Christians, can we understand the reality that we ought to be characterized by this kind of joy? We ought to be known for it. But we're not going to be joyful unless we make the decision to go back to the well. Can I encourage you this morning? Go back to the well. Yes, you've experienced salvation. You've you've drunk from that well before. You've tasted of that water before. But you need to go back there. You need to go back and draw out the person of Christ that's that's contained therein and experience it in a fresh and new way. That's the only source of joy. That's the only source of lasting joy. You do it in the flesh, it's not going to last. You just say, well, you know, I'm just going to ignore all the bad things that are happening around me. That, that's not going to work either. The only thing that will is, yes, there is the reality. We're not denying the fact of the trials and difficulties and troubles of life. But let's not also deny the reality of the spiritual blessings in Christ that we have. Let's draw upon it and then let that joy display itself to the world 